Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Yeah, you're being advised right now to step out of your comfort zone. The journey, man holding a heart, yin and yang, door to romance, okay? You could be the thinking woman right now. You're broken hearted about a community or a situation that has happened, okay? But at the same time, you're thinking about a happy family. You're thinking about how you want to be appreciated for the the things that you've done to actually heal yourself, to have a new beginning. So I feel like somebody is trying to get out of a particular cycle here. You've, you're healing, but um, I, I'll be honest, I get the feeling like somebody here, you don't feel like you're receiving the re rewards or recognition that you should because of the risk that you've taken to go on this spiritual journey to have healed and to um, be manifesting certain things in your life. Okay. Um, with this action card being here, you see there's like this, the dark horse is chasing behind like this white horse. We do have the yin and yang card out here. Um, and I have the thinking woman and the man holding the heart. I'll be honest, for some of you, you may be having a difficult time with actually recognizing that love is either in your life or is coming into your life very soon because it's going to require you to get out of your comfort zone. Okay, with the action card here, this is stating that right now, like, obviously, it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to take action. Um, this card also is about feminine and masculine energy. It's the, um, also like your, your shadow. Some of you, you may feel like your shadow is chasing you down at this time. Okay, um, but it's like some of you too need to be careful because you could be running away from the fact that there is some type of shadow work or healing that you're needing to do, okay? In order for you to take action, to go towards like this new beginning, you're needing to get out of your comfort zone. It's something here about doubles, okay? Or it's a, it, it's something here about a, a pair. For some of you, this is a couple. It's you and another person, but I feel like something is about to start moving very, very fast at an extremely rapid rate. Something is about to start moving. Okay. The door to personal healing and happiness. This is all about a new beginning here. This is saying you're about to finally get exactly what it is that you want. After working on some type of inner healing, making some changes here. Okay. The door to personal healing and happiness. Like I'm, I'm getting for some of you, you could be changing your location changing your job or something, but the garden and the gate is here. It still requires you to get out of your comfort zone. You could stay where you are, yeah, um, because it's comfortable there, but some of you are really trying to figure out how much beauty is out in the world. Some of you, you want to open yourself up to love or just to go on a journey. Some of you definitely may be considering moving, changing your location, changing or... If you know you don't want to move, relocate, just changing things around in your home even. But you have a man holding a heart here, yin and yang, and the doors to romance. Something is being balanced out. This could be the masculine energy or this could be you. And, and like you're balancing yourself out if you are the feminine. But I feel like right now there's a heartbreaking situation that is still on someone's mind. Okay? You have the community here, the happy family. But I feel like when it comes to someone being happy, there is a community of people who have caused some kind of interference. And someone is still like in their minds thinking a lot about whatever this is, but you have appreciation and rested and rejuvenate. It's like right now you need to be appreciative of the fact that you were able to get out of a situation because something, it, it actually worked in your favor. It may not look that way. It may not feel that way. And I mean, this is this message has been coming up a lot lately. Like you may just feel like, okay, I see wish fulfillment, but at the but still you're thinking to yourself, wow, but why did I have to go through something so hard? Why did I have to go through something so difficult? Like how or why did people betray me in such a way? 
this this energy is weighing heavily on somebody. It's like you're needing to to really cleanse and clear this energy out because there is something very beautiful that is trying to come in for you, or it has come in. Wow, something is balancing out once again. Doubles, six of pentacles, six of cups. So remember before I was talking about your rewards, recognition, you taking risks, six of pentacles is equal give and take, is generosity, the six of wands is recognition, is victory, is success. Some of you, for a long time, you haven't been receiving rewards and recognition for your work, whatever that is. This could be in your workplace, um, with your family, your friends, you just, you haven't really been receiving what you feel is, is owed to you. Wow, the emperor. Wow. For some of you, this is definitely in business. You're not getting what you know you deserve in the workplace or whatever. And to be honest, I feel like for some of you, you have people with the community card here. You have people who are purposely thinking of ways to ensure that you are brokenhearted so that you don't feel appreciated. I have to be honest, like I can resonate with this myself. I'm, to be perfectly honest, this is just a me being transparent. I am a part of the collective. I feel like ever since the last few weeks, ever since I hit 100K on this channel, every single day my videos are being flagged. My views have been cut more than half. It just, it's like, why? <laughs> why? All because that number changed. It seems like everyone is attacking my channel and I don't know why. To the point like now, I, I just, I'm not even posting on the channel. It's like, and I know that this, of course, what people will want is for me to just give up. But sometimes it's just like, what, why are you fighting? Because this is a community of people. They're brokenhearted and they want everyone else to be brokenhearted. There is a, a, a person here, could be a feminine, that just constantly is chasing behind this this light one with this very dark, nasty energy. Somebody is constantly attacking a person's happiness, their personal healing and happiness. This could be a person right now who is having a difficult time with getting on their own spiritual path or journey. It's a dark, feminine, um, or masculine karmic energy. Somebody here does not want a person to move forward, does not want somebody to be happy. The emperor does not want a person to um, connect or reconnect with the divine masculine energy. But the emperor, for me, is not just a divine masculine energy. It's even as a, as a divine feminine, it's you tapping into your own masculine energy, getting some kind of structure, stability, security for yourself. Um, it could be improved finances. It's how you show up in the world. And, and you taking charge and being in a position to be generous even with others. Somebody is trying very hard to stop that. I literally just posted a video um, an hour ago. And it was the very first time that I've ever posted a video and I've changed my thumbnail. You guys who follow my channel, I always have the same exact thumbnail. I just changed the thumbnail. I kid you not, within 20 minutes of me posting the video. And the video is about financial success. The video was flagged. The video was age restricted and flagged, which means that, of course, most people won't even see it. And I'm just like, really? But here you have justice, the emperor and the justice. Wow. Something is going to be balanced out. This has to do with the person of authority. Nine of Wands. And somebody is not expecting this. Let's get into it. What's happening right now? King of Wands, Ace of Cups. It's a natural born leader. Someone is taking action right now. Someone could be taking action to do something that they really, really love or to go towards a person that they love. In the past, you have here the star of the four of wands, the recent past. Wow. The star of the four of wands. Hmm. Moving forward, you have the three of pentacles, the page of swords. <laughs> wow. Wow. I almost want to stop this reading because it feel it's it it's pers it feels personal. It like I resonate with it because or it's what I just said. Remember, I just said like when I hit 100k, how my channel has been under attack. You have the star of the four of wands. There was something to celebrate. 
and you have somebody here, King of Wands, who is looking right at someone, a star, platform, healer, or whomever, someone being celebrated for doing something that they really care for. The King of Wands is looking at this person, angry, upset. Three of Pentacles, a page of swords. Moving forward, here is what we had before. The community, the group of people stalking, spying, watching, gang stalking, monitoring a person. All because what, nine of wands, someone is paranoid that someone has gotten away or they can't control this person or whatever the situation may be. Temperance. So what's happening above spiritually, the temperance. Someone is divinely protected. Page of wands and will be receiving exciting news about it. What's happening around you right now? The devil. Someone toxic, obsessive, mean, nasty, and narcissistic. The devil and the king of swords, you never want to see those two together. Um, I won't say that. Spirit said that's not true. Because you do have a very toxic, nasty energy here. But this king of swords, for me as a reader, I always see, um, sometimes see the king of swords as being like Archangel Michael, you have a very nasty, narcissistic-like energy around you. But because we have the temperance energy here, you also have Archangel Michael that's going to come in and cut this tie, this cord to whoever this is, this person, this group, this community, or whatever that keeps trying to come after a person because you have love or because you are loved or whatever the case is. Somebody here is holding on. Look at this. This is so sick and disgusting. Nine of Wands, you guys have seen me show for the cards. Nine of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords. Somebody is completely devastated because you have some kind of new beginning that brings you security, stability. Somebody did everything. They had all the plans, the plots, the schemes and the scams to come in to completely destroy you from having some type of breakthrough. But justice is here. Wow. For the Empress, the Divine Feminine. Somebody tried to block a person, Eight of Swords, so that they could not move forward. Spiritually blind this person so that they could not move forward and possibly go towards a relationship. Like, what is new here? <laughs> Can we get a different story? <laughs> So you could be a person, you know, and I, like I said, I, I resonate with some, some messages, but you know, I don't want to, I'm not going to say this is fully my story, but for some of you with the star on the four of wands being here, you have a platform. It could be public now that you are celebrating with someone. Um, some of you could have recently gotten married or gotten into a commitment. You could have recently gotten a new place, a new car or something, new job, whatever it is. This happened in the recent past. Recent as in like the last maybe three or four weeks for some of you with the four of wands being here. And with the star, this person on this card is like there's no clothes on this person. You're stripped down bare like you're you're being just in your authentic energy. You have a person here that has one wand in their hand, this king of wands. This person is looking at something that you recently accomplished. And for some reason, Spirit is telling me to read the cards this way. If I start here at the right, you have the Three of Pentacles, which is a group of people. They're teaming up. They're collaborating to watch Page of Swords, stalk, spy, monitor, maybe even in extreme cases, hack a person. Ace of Cups, who is loved, okay? And they're probably doing this because they've been instructed to do this by this King of Wands. Who is looking at a person go towards their destiny and be celebrating. Someone is receiving exciting news about things in their life balancing out. Somebody is upset about it. Nine of Wands, this person is paranoid, they're in fear, they're upset because this plan that they had to completely destroy a person by betraying them, 
they could have paid a lot of money to do this or because they didn't want someone to receive money. Someone here, someone has broken the law as well to do this. Eight of the, I'm sorry, the Empress. And then you have eight, eight. This is all about someone's abundance. And then the Emperor. This is all about someone's abundance and someone going into some type of connection. You have the Empress and the Emperor out here. Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands. Somebody did a lot or they paid a lot of money to have this Divine Feminine unable to see. Like somebody wanted this person just bound. Somebody tried to bind somebody in the spirit so that they could not see that they should move forward with, with you know, taking their power, their control, their authority to make something happen for themselves. And, and I feel like because someone is actually wanting to share something that they have possibly with another person, a partner, this could even be a business partner. It doesn't have to be romantic. This King of Wands is like livid about it. Yeah. You're being appreciated by a community of people because you've healed. You've healed your broken heart. Even your ancestors, your guys, they're proud of you because of the fact that you've healed. Now you're going towards a happy family, a daughter romance here. You're balancing things out, yin and yang energy, the temperance. Because you've been thinking about your own personal journey of how to move forward. How to go towards a person who has love for you. And you're getting yourself out of this water chaser dynamic with this person. For some, this is a karmic feminine energy. For some, it's a karmic masculine energy. But you're now deciding that you no longer want to be stuck in this matrix, in this cycle, with having this dark energy constantly watching you, following you, monitoring you, or whatever it is that they're doing. And that's why Archangel Michael is coming in with a sword to completely cut this tie and banish this person out of your energy. Somebody is upset because they can feel this, this, this energy of them being cleansed and cleared out completely. And they're very upset about it. You have the scribe card here and the wounded child. So somebody here who is constantly blaming dysfunctional right, um, relationships on their childhood issues and they are refusing to forgive and move on, um, refusing to forgive. Like if you left this person, they are blaming you. They refuse to move on. They refuse to forgive you. They refuse to forgive anybody that has left them behind or whatever the case may be. This person is actually doing something with this community to somehow like um, assassinate your character. There's a defamation of character here. Somebody could even, and this says altering flex, facts or plagiarizing others' work. This person could be plagiarizing your work. They could be trying to steal your identity. This person could have hacked or um, I'm hearing cloned your phone so that they could get information. This is a lot of stuff this person is doing to break the law. And I just want to say, because I do pick up on this energy, because people watch a lot of readers, a lot of a lot of these dark people right now, they're spiritually bound. And you will be surprised, but they watch tarot readings to figure out how to better attack us. I have plenty of readings that I have not posted because I already know that you are watching me. Whoever you are, I know you're watching me and you're waiting on me to tell you what's going to happen next. Let me be the first to tell you what's going to happen next since you keep watching my reading. Because apparently, Spirit had a message today for me and I don't mind putting it out there. What I've been seeing is, I've been seeing people burying their children. And I'm going to leave it at that. Wounded child that keeps attacking people. Hermit. This is a person that hides in solitude. 
this person keeps on trying to learn all these different things. This person thinks that they're a king. This person is trying to learn how to actually become a person who is in life. Whoever this person is, they could be a hermitist. They like they're a magician. They have a lot of knowledge, a lot of knowledge about things that are spiritual, metaphysical things. This person could even be a teacher. They could be a teacher. They could be a reader. This person is an, they could be an occultist of some sort. This person wants to be the best at something. And what this person has been doing is manipulating people. Manipulating people, manipulating energies, abusing various people here, being very destructive. And then this person, they do all of this and then they decide that they're going to try to withdraw from society out of fear that they're, that they're going to be seen. This person is doing this to a divine feminine. You have her divine child, lover, virgin, and healer. This is somebody that keeps doing this to a divine feminine. Anything to sabotage this person. Alchemist and gossip. Somebody here just keeps attacking a divine feminine or masculine. Anything to sabotage this person. Anything to make this person fall into some kind of saboteur-like energy. And somebody is absolutely doing spell work to do this. Somebody is misusing all of the power and the knowledge that they have. This is a this is an occultist. This is um a dark priest, priestess, witch, wizard, warlock, or whomever. This person has has studied a lot. They've learned a lot. This person knows how to attack somebody if they want to. They absolutely know exactly what to do, how to do it. You have here wounded child mentor, and then damsel shapeshifter. This is some weird person. This person is shapeshifting. Like it could be a man, it could be a woman. I don't know. You have the prince card right here. Whoever this person is, though, they are a master shapeshifter. They have learned how to shapeshift. You have king out here and prince. This is a group of people. This feels honestly like it's a group of, um, it could be masculine, doesn't have to be, but this is absolutely a, a, a group of um, shapeshifters who have been doing this. They're attacking this divine feminine energy. And the divine feminine could be a male or female. I always keep that in mind. But somebody here is upset that a person who they thought was going to be some kind of damsel in distress is actually a divine feminine, like a healer, a mentor. This person is very pure, pure of heart, of spirit. Somebody wants to be in a relationship or a connection with this person. So they literally are going somewhere and they are paying people or doing something behind the scenes to create a lot of gossip and slander to sabotage a person. Like, how how low and pathetic is that? Like, you literally are going out and you're paying people to gang stalk a person because, what well, you want to be with them. But there's a ring leader here. There's somebody who has taught a person how to do this. Somebody out here is trying to paint a divine feminine out to be some kind of damsel in distress who is waiting on somebody to come in and, and, and save the day by creating some kind of romantic illusion. That's stupid. Or this is somebody who is out telling this lie that like this divine feminine is dependent on somebody else or it's something like that. Somebody is attacking someone's character just completely. Somebody is, is trying to make it so that you just do not appear to be divine. You don't appear to be pure of, of love, light, good heart. You're not a healer. Somebody wants to paint this picture that you're taking advantage of people instead of actually healing them. Like, this is a bunch of people lying and gossiping, doing spell work, misusing all of their power. Like all this to sabotage somebody by creating, trying to make someone appear to be karmic, who is very much divine. 
And what somebody is trying to do is make it seem like, oh, well, things in your life are declining because you're a bad person. Things in your life are declining because you didn't listen to what I told you to do. You didn't do what, what, what my group wants you to do. I don't know if this is a group of very religious people or what, but they're like, well, things are not going well for you because you won't listen to the guidance that I gave you. Somebody just refuses to let something go and they're shape-shifting. This is a prince of hell doing this. I, I just, I don't mean, I don't, I don't get it. Like, why? What's the deal? And there's a lot of people going through this. Like, what's up? Like, for real, what's up? I mean, what's the, what's the problem? Five of Wands in the verse Ace of Pentacles. What's the problem? You mad? Your spell work didn't work? All the gossip and the slander somebody still has Ace of Pentacles? I mean, why are you mad? You need to get your money together for when you have to make those, those arrangements for your son. Because you keep playing. What would I say? Son, death. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it. One door closes and another one opens. Somebody does not is not getting the, the, the message clear. You keep digging graves for people. Eventually, somebody's going to fall into it and it's not going to be the person of light that you think it's going to be. Back off. You've been warned. Privacy is power. And silence will kill. People think everybody's stupid. Will of Fortune in the reverse. Five of Wands. I'm telling you. This is not going to go according to your plan, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn Virgo Taurus, with fire in your chart, this is not going to go according to your plan. I'm telling you now, you should stop. Whoever this group is, it's a fire sign, masculine, a, a, a earth sign, masculine, or somebody has it in their chart that's a part of this little code or coven or whatever. This is not going to go the way that you want it to go. You need to stop. So Scorpio masculine out here too. Three of Cups. I'm telling you, y'all better stop doing these rituals. The world, this is over. Five of Swords. Justice. Ten of Pentacles. Stop this astral traveling and projecting and playing these games. Like. It's not working. Somebody is going towards being at peace. No matter how much this King of Wands, King of Swords chooses to watch and monitor to a person, hoping that they're going to be stuck in some kind of fear and anxiety about being successful. Like, it's the same people coming up. Same, different day. Temperance, King of Wands, King of Swords. King of Pentacles in the reverse up there. King of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody who is trying to get away from something. This person doesn't have the money or the energy to get out of whatever they've gotten themselves into. These rituals are constantly being shut down by Archangel Michael. Something with this King of Wands is over. And whoever this group is with the five of swords, all this gossiping and spell work, it's a lot of stuff happening too. See, what people don't realize is, you know, there's a post-shadow phase of Mercury retrograde. But I'm going to tell you what a lot of people also don't know is this is the year of the dragon and sweetheart. Saturn is going direct in just a few days. 
So everything that you've been doing in your rituals mm -hmm, that you thought was hidden because you thought Mercury Retrograde was working on your side, it's actually about to all backfire. Yeah, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. All this gang stalking, watching people on platforms, lying, trying to stress people out and have them in fear and anxiety. It's not going to go in your favor. Justice is going to be served. And people who are rightfully owed things are going to receive it. What did I say? It's a ritual. This is a magic ritual. It's a sacrificial ritual. They keep doing this. Meanwhile, people are sitting back relaxing, taking it easy and peace. I don't know who these people are making these deals with, but I feel like somebody is relaxing, saying their prayers. <laughs> And you're going to be triumphant and receive good news for doing so. Somebody is coming towards you and they don't even realize that they're spiritually blind. They're not even seeing something clearly. And I just saw that protest card. That's what I'm saying too. Especially if you're like a reader. These people are doing spell work because they want a, a lot of, even myself, us as readers, to tell them what's going on because they're not, they don't have the gift of sight. The spell work isn't working. So in order for them to know what to do next, they're doing spell work to get us to tell them more details of what's happening. A lot of people, and this is no shade to a lot of people, but a lot of people get on here and it's all about the views and the revenue. And you don't, some people don't realize you're, you're being tricked into doing this. People are, are, are draining you of all the information that you know. Readers, we go through stuff just like the viewer does. Anybody can read tarot. There's a lot of people on here who are extremely powerful and gifted. Far more powerful and gifted than, than me. You just don't have a platform. People are using readers to go out and speak up about what's happening. They want to know how much do we know about what's happening behind the veil so they know which one of us to attack next. Because they can't see. They don't know what's happening. They're trying to use the spiritual sight of other people <laughs> to lead them because they're spiritually blind. Yeah, these people are in a fantasy world right now. They don't know what's going on. That's why they get on our channels every day. And, and within five or 10 minutes of you posting, they're disliking the videos and reporting them. But I guarantee you they'll sit there and they'll watch the whole video to figure out energetically what, what me or any other reader, what are we picking up on today so that they can get, they can click off the reading and then go and do more spell work. Third wheel here, it's a third party situation here. Sweet dream and loneliness. And somebody, for some of you, you this is a, an ex or somebody, like I said, a protest. Somebody wants you to keep yelling out and speaking out about what you know about the third party or whatever. Nobody cares. Somebody was hoping that you would be lonely. You're sleeping just fine and like, you don't care about this third party situation or anything else. And what did I just say? There, there's your reader. Somebody wants you to keep on speaking out so that you will end up homeless because they want to keep bullying you. They want to bully you and send all kind of dark entities and everything else to you, hoping that eventually you will be locked out, homeless. But this is a lot of dark stuff. These people have, have strategies where they're doing spell work to send actual dark entities to people. People who have knowledge. Knowledge about... The people who are illegally shape-shifting. That's what this is about. You have a lot of professional shape-shifters. 
They are targeting readers because they are being caught. Like their mask is off. So if you are a reader and you're speaking out about people who are shape-shifting and going in the spirit realm, attacking people, violating people and the things that they're doing, they're attacking us. These people think they're going to get out of all these federal cases and, and outrun karma and death. But these are people who have been doing things for years. You don't see these crimes being committed. They don't commit them in the, in the physical anymore. They go on the spirit and, and commit spiritual crimes by shape-shifting. And the justice card, these are law officials. These are official people that have been doing this. And like I said, there's a coach. There's a person that has taught these individuals exactly how to do this. But you know, all good things must eventually end. This little setup or operation was going well for a very long time. But these individuals, they keep on attacking people. And they've started to attack the wrong people. You're attacking people who are innocent, for one, which is never right. But also, it's like going overboard with it. You should have stopped a long time ago. Like, these are people who just won't leave well enough alone. It's like you had your phone. You bullied these people. You tried to humiliate them. You did all these awful things. These people, like, they don't want to stop until, until you're just, I don't know, gone. Imprisonment and marriage is here. Somebody's contract <laughs> is, is in hell. Pathway, adjudication. It's like the final judgment is in here. That somebody is going on their pathway. You have an official person here, community, and main female. There's an official person here or somebody who considers themselves to be official in some type of cult or community. This person is concerned now about going into poverty because they've been stealing. They've been spiritually spying and stealing so that they could actually have unexpected income. Yeah. You have a main male here going on a, on a journey towards an ending and bad health. Because they won't leave somebody alone. This could be a couple as well. With the main female, the main male out here, these two people are a part of a group. Some community group, secret society, whatever. They're going on a, a, on a nice ride towards some endings and bad health. Or this death that they're about to experience in their family is going to have them sick. And I already told you who and what it is. <laughs> you know, in, in war, there's casualties. It's sad, but, you know, sometimes it's, 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 it's innocent. But you keep on trying to affect an innocent person. So who do you think will be next? Next, there will be a divine child who will be left wounded. Because your stupid mama and daddy won't leave people alone. And these couples... These people in these group who have done all this womb magic and fertility magic, especially on these divine feminists so that they can't have children or so that their children will have health issues and all this stuff. All this stuff is about to backfire. Every last bit of it. You won't have time to gain stock soon. You won't have time to do anything. I told you, this is a couple. Courtship. This is a couple. That's doing this. High honor is out here. Occupation. Yeah. And, and they have high rank. They've earned high rank in this community. By doing this. This couple, I'm telling you. They have gained a lot by hurting other people. Came out the wrong one this time. 
gift. Yeah. They work hard to steal the gifts of people who are privileged. This is their job. This is the operation. Steal the gifts of divine feminines who are privileged for their own personal gain. This is what they do. This is a couple that likes to steal the gifts of people who work in a community who they assume are privileged, people who are of, of high honor, who they assume are privileged, who are utilizing their gift. They go and they steal from them, this couple. They go in the spirit and they steal. This is how they make, this is how they keep receiving this unexpected income. Oh, where is their money coming from? Because they keep stealing. They're energy harvesting and stealing for great fortune. But somebody is concerned now about this great fortune. Because somebody here is sick, possibly even on their deathbed. Somebody in this community is sick on their deathbed or about to be. Mature man. It's a, there's a male that's going to be affected by this. Somebody's father or somebody's son, possibly both. Yep, there's the message of concern. Somebody's going to receive a message of concern. A father or son. Here you have a mature man. I mean, mature man and a mature woman. Yikes. Why are they out here together? <laughs> message. It's a message of concern out here about a mature man and a mature woman. The message is the false, there's a false person here. Ooh, wow. Are these somebody's parents? Oh, wow. Is, some, are they still, is this somebody's parents doing this? Don't tell me that this carbon couple is somebody's parents. These are elders. For some, not everybody. I'm hearing specifically though, elders in the church. Lovers. You literally have five, six, seven here, 14, 15. Something here is just lining up. And somebody's gonna end up in despair because they've been waiting for all their hard work to pay off and they have sudden wealth, these people gonna end up in jail. Or they're being spiritually, yeah, this is a family. There's a change coming to a wealthy man, a false person who are in a marriage. They could be in real estate. Yeah, this is this couple. Let me tell you what this is. This is a couple who has been taught how to do this by another couple that's older. There's an, oh my gosh, I just got chills all over me. There's an older couple who had in this secret society or group that has taught this, this couple how to do what they're doing. That's the connection here. That's their mentor. Is an older couple that has taught them how to go out and spiritually attack and energy harvest and do all this stuff or whatever. They've been taught how to do this. And this couple decided to target you, a divine feminine or master. They decided to target you. And this older couple or these elders or whomever in this community has been coaching them on what to do to, I guess, sacrifice you to get some kind of gain. This, this is a group of people, though, who are wealthy or they're trying very hard to become wealthy. Wow. Wow. Oh. Okay. Yeah. There's an older couple out here. And that's why we have all these cards of uh, teacher, mentor, coach. Somebody here is being taught how to do this. 
this couple, they're they're ranking up in this this community in this group. These are a group of people who are like very affluent or elite, maybe, or or they're just known in the community. They're a cultist or whatever. But yeah, that's okay. Hold on. These this could be that same um group of people that we pick up on these swingers. Yeah, all these people do all this stuff together. They're swingers or cultists or whatever. Yeah, see, look, the hermit, the king, the teacher. You have a person out here who knows exactly how to do these spiritual attacks. They're teaching someone that you could that you could know how to do this. So you have a person, if you're divine feminine, they're attacking you under the, the leadership and guidance of someone that they consider to be a mentor, somebody that took them under their wings and has been mentoring them. So you could be dealing with somebody here who was so, so stupid. <laughs> this person, because of their own childhood issues and their desire to be yeah, you have here the prince and the king. Somebody here wants to be on king status. They're still a prince. They want to, to level up and rank up in life. So they're a part of some kind of group where they have a teacher who was a king. This person has instructed this masculine, go out and find a lover who is very pure. Pretty much tear them down, break them down. And I'm going to show you how to destiny swap with them. I'm going to show you how to destiny swap with them. Go out and find a person that has all the energy that you want. And I'm going to show you how to destiny swap with them. But in the meantime, in between time, you make them out to be an awful person. And this person here who's doing this. Yeah, you're you're divine. They're wounded. So they want to shape shift. They want to not just shape, they want to shape shift to trick you, but they want to swap with you. The prince. The prince has a mentor, the king. Teaching this person how to do this. Teaching this person how to sabotage people to steal from them. But see, what's going on though is whoever this mentor teacher is. This person has guided somebody in the wrong direction. This person did not fully tell a person what could happen if they, I guess, try to do this to somebody who is extremely protected. Somebody, it's like, you know, when a person gets you to buy into, it's like somebody told them of all the great things that could happen, but they just completely left out the fine print. They didn't, they didn't tell this person anything about the chances of a backfire because whoever does this, whoever is teaching this, they've been successful at it. They've successfully done it. Like this person, they, they hit and they never miss. So somebody trusts them like, yeah, cool. Nothing to worry about, right? No, you have everything to worry about. Because they've attacked the wrong person. Yep. Four of Pentacles. Somebody could have done some kind of binding magic. And like I said too, somebody was holding some information back. Wow. The Lovers and the Ten of Pentacles here. Nine of Swords. And the hermit, this is this person 
watching, stalking, monitoring because judgment has been called. Somebody is going towards a divine partnership and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody can see that a person has awakened. They're doing just fine. Queen of Cups here, the moon, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody is not confused or in any kind of illusion. The illusion was blocked. Seven of Wands. Yeah, the Two of Cups. And somebody created an illusion so that somebody couldn't go into a partnership. This person and their mentor or this person and the entity that they're working with has been banished out of somebody's energy. And now they're still who are looking stupid. Yeah, because they did this to a high priestess. The high priestess is moving on a peaceful, calm waters and going to receive exactly what they're due to receive. The cycle is over with the world card. The ace of wands here and the sun. And if somebody has, has done anything, any kind of magic here to cause a person to miscarry or blocking the birth of a child, they're going to lose their child and you're going to have one. One out, one in. I said what I said. Ten of cups. Yeah. Three of swords. Yeah. You're going to have wish fulfillment happiness. Yeah. This here is procreation. It's the male phallic and, a, and a, a son being born. This is something that you manifested to have wish fulfillment, to have a happy family. And somebody's going to be heartbroken. Yeah, they're going to be heartbroken because they thought they got away with doing something in the past. Causing some kind of chaos or conflict here. The truth is out. Somebody made a person like lose a child or something like that in the past. They did some kind of ritual or they did something. Look at that. Strength card here. Could be a Leo somewhere. King of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Somebody did something to destiny swap or to make a person... When I see these cards too, for some, I'm, I'm thinking of, of like ovaries. Somebody did something that caused a person to like lose a child or or to block something. Yeah, five of pentacles. So that this is some, somebody did something to a person's reproductive health in the past, so that they will be out in the cold. They will have some kind of hardship. This person's on crutches, so that somebody will actually be sick, suffering, destitute. You're getting confirmation about this and you're going to be free. Some, yeah, four swords. You're being healed. And whoever, this baby, this spirit baby is coming back. Like, mom, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah. Wow. I, listen, you know, like I said, whoever did something to block somebody from having a child, listening to... Their um a cult member mentor or whomever. Listen, somebody literally like really may lose a child for doing this. 